you know, I heard one of my old friends, Richard, knew who he was and um, knew who the, saw them and just had a bad feeling about them and got the fuck out. He said, I don't want to deal with that shit. You know, I keep hearing wetbacks, but like I said, I'm just spitting the truth out in this video to get to the truth. With that being said, from what I'm understanding, Mm -mm, this is this is some evil shit. Um, they're trying to keep me from being able to fucking think and Okay, this is what I wanted to say. This is an evil fucking entity, this Dan Arcienega entity. I'm going to explain what's going on with him. With that being said, from what I understand, I started getting help from, you know, some Mexican folks from a church down the street. And next thing I know, I started getting a lot of spiritual help. Alex Nascimento thwarted that by putting entity attachments that were designed to make me hate them and trying to connect it to my grandmother, who's a Creole. She ain't no fucking, she ain't no Mexican. To get me to fuck, not only hate them people, And to try to cut off a crucial aspect of my consciousness in a way. But also try to set the tone and the path for me. Let me let me go ahead and try to articulate it as best as I can. He started trying to set up timelines and all of that. You know, like I say before, I'm gonna say it right now. You know, they hold you to like drinking urges, like they'll impose uh, whatever his name is, Benavidez, Barbara, David, Reina, Navarro. They'll impose their karma of drunk urges on you to compromise you and then from there try to fuck with you. And that's exactly what happened. And so going back to the last time I drunk, me and my spirit guy were able to, you know, establish really, really nice timelines together and everything. And all of that got thwarted. And we were planning on doing something about this Alex Nascimento and, and throwing that out because that's a curse. These motherfuckers came back stronger. I wish I did not drink that night. And totally obstructed. Like, I'm just going to say it like this. They set me on a path to make sure I can never come back and I could never escape this curse and never break free and get my shit back. And working in tandem with this Alex Nascimento, they made sure every single day I stayed stuck in a way stuck in my head trying to get my shit back trying to disconnect me from having any sort of uh, spiritual betterment whatsoever. Um, fucking with Mexicans who are my strongest spiritual help, getting me to hate them people. Trying to set up a timeline 
that would put me, from what I understand, in a strong hell realm where I'm at to this day and where I haven't been able to escape to this day. And one that would set me, like I said, I believe, you know, there's evidence that shows I died a couple of weeks ago in which I died, in which I died in my sleep and never make it out and stay a sacrifice forever. You know, I kept hearing that malicious ass entity say he's supposed to be a sacrifice. It's a roach attachment. Again, for roach attachments, you can use uh, 7,000 hertz as well as 7,010 hertz. Uh, to revive them. 7,000 hertz to get rid of them, 7,010 hertz to revive them. His real self, um, you know, from what I understand, is an evil motherfucker that likes people being stuck in hell realms and I see that too. My The screen keeps blinking in and out. You know, to victimize me, you know, it, it's horrible. You know, to make a long story short, that entity actually went into that botanica where I got a reading from. Because, you know, from what I understand, they saw I was going to get a lot of spiritual help from them people. And went in there, fucked with them people voraciously. There used to be a little Mexican man I used to see selling stuff down the street. He's still down there. Very, very nice guy. I, I would say hi to him all the time. You know, when I first came to this neighborhood out here in South Central, I felt like it was home. I felt like this is home. And I felt protected here. There was a strong energy of spiritual protection. I felt like I can be healed from this curse. And that was totally thwarted. I didn't even have any alcohol allergies for months. I, I would think about alcohol and just logically say it's going to make you sick. Why do you want that shit? Drink an energy drink that has taurine in it, which is very good for your consciousness. You know, sitting up here, I got vitamin E, iron tablets, very good for your consciousness for maintaining it when you're going through something like this. So with that being said, these evil motherfuckers sent me down on a path where I can't get any spiritual help and I can't pull myself up out of the spiritual situation. You know, this is fucked up. I'm having to go into my consciousness and move shit that I shouldn't or rearrange shit physically that I shouldn't. And that's scary. That's scary. To see how thin my consciousness is. It shouldn't be out like this, externalized like this. This is this is fucked up. It's gonna be a long ass motherfucking video. So, anyways, carrying on. Um with that being said, them motherfuckers literally set it up for this time around. For me to never be able to get spiritual help. And not only that. Not just stay stuck. As a sacrifice. Which again I never fucking consented to this shit. I never agreed to this shit. But to ultimately die. And never make it out. Of this curse. Alive. And I believe that happened. I'm going to go ahead and say this. Let me show you the topa, and let me show you where he was seated. Again, this Dan Arsienica entity, it looks like he's under the control of Baron Sanity. That's why I'm curious about what's going on. They've been, I don't know what's going on with these people, if they've been trying to get control of him or if it's him doing it himself, but I saw this entity seated at first by you know, it was uh, way down, I believe, on the 6th or 40th block, 400 block, or six, 600 block, or 400, uh, 6,000 block, or 4,000 block, or fig. 
I saw him at the bus stop there. And then I took the bus. Logically, you should have boarded it on, got on, and got on the bus, got the figure Manchester saw him right there. He appeared just out of nowhere. Sure. Our first thought was that he was some type of spirit guide. But all of my spirit guides, all of my higher selves, we all came together. We had a bad feeling about him, a very odious feeling about him, that he was something evil and pernicious meant to fuck with us. So I did a little spiritual experiment on him. And next thing I know, he did something right back to show that he was not of the physical plane. You know, again, I'm going to say this right now. When my roach uh, spirit saw him, you know, a bunch of my spirit guides saw him. They say that he'll appear as like a fat, nasty, sloppy looking, like somebody that's possessed. That's why my spirit guides got a bad feeling about him that day. And he'll come in and take over your spirit guide, your angelic protection. It's something very, very evil. He'll use cayenne pepper gunpowder. Um, he'll, you know, from what I understand, they, they keep trying to tie him to my father. You know, because of his Mexican past life. And he's supposed to be comprised of my brother's highest self. Some of my spirit guides, one of them at least I know of. Uh, Mikey Hernandez is hired to higher selves. He's composed of like the astral body parts of one of my spirit guides and all of that. It, it's a very horrible thing. And like I said, I kept using 666 hertz as well as 432 hertz to get them to come back. But they'll use like cayenne pepper to fuck shit up for you and everything. I keep hearing a lot of feeling, a lot of my consciousness get keep getting thrown out of my body as I talk. I could have had a good thing fucking going. I totally fucked it up. I totally fucked it up. That's weird. I just blinked in and out. With that being said, they keep tormenting my child consciousness and trying to confuse me. I mean, my child spirit got to keep trying to confuse me with what's going on. With that being said, not that long after. I kept hearing that he's supposed to be, from what I understand, he got brought in by my Raziel. And then before that, one of the people put this curse on me. I got a Sandifer, used his Raziel to bring him in. And um, I got like a Jewish ancestor or something. I, this is just, this is miserable. Somebody brought him in, and from what I understand, he was supposed to be the highest self of this Alex Nascimento, who we kicked out because he was a curse. Um, he was supposed to portray like a Mexican cholo, but so we kicked him out, removed him, and then he brought that entity along to invite him in. And um we tried to block him from being able to come in. And so ever since then, from what I felt in the astral plane and seen, he's kicked me out and torn me out of my body and placed in a tried to keep me out. And from what I understand, 
you know, I fortunately I have, you know, I believe I have spiritual help, a, a spirit guy that's holding me down. I, but I know a couple of days ago, some of my ancestors actually saw him taken up, you know, being helped by Santa Muerte and that Maria Santana woman at that Santa Muerte shop whom you can see here. Out of my body. And when I got back my physical body, I could literally feel the difference right away. A major difference. So with that being said, I'm just trying to get my thoughts together. This this can be happening. This shit, this, this, all this evil shit coming in. I keep feeling it's like something just. Shit just, it, it keeps getting fucking worse and worse, and I keep getting. Blame for it because I have no Derek Walls and, you know, shit super sensitive to my consciousness, to my thoughts, and that can't be helped. And I just had something just now use my own consciousness, my own imagination against me, trying to fuck something up. I just felt some pull out um, an aspect of my imagination just now, and they're probably going to try to fuck with it. You know, whenever you talk about something, they like targeting things and fucking with it. So with that being said, um, from what I understand, this Alex Nascimento entity came back in uh, 2000, around 2000 and maybe 12 or 13. And from what I understand, he was invited in. Oh, the Dan Arsienica entity. Um, you know, make a long story short, he completely destroyed my consciousness. And I believe going back a couple of months ago, I would say two months ago when I brought this chain right here, he killed me in my sleep and took me out of my body from what I've been shown and from what I understand. And he's been trying to, you know, along with Santa Muerte, you know, again, that uh, Britannica shop owner's uh, higher self, you know, is um, pivotal to keeping me out of my body. Her name is uh, Maria Santana. And this is who she is, I believe.
But anyways, getting back to the recent, um, you know, I was made to be under a curse my entire fucking life. And it started with Baron Sanders. They keep trying to pull out timelines right now that are minds that are essential. I don't think these entities understand that this is a part of me and that these things that they keep pulling out are parts of me. They're aspects of me and that they have no right to take it and they have no right to fucking sell it or pawn it in the astral plane. Like I said, I have some really, really fucked up things in my consciousness um, you know, that, uh, you know, and part of being fucked with by these people, and I was shown that one night, you know, when my brother, you know, entity attachment, my brother went to help me out. You know, they keep trying to artificially, Baron Samity and Zeus and all of them keep trying to artificially remove timelines from my body, set me up and establish me to be a sacrifice. This Dan Arsienega invasive entity, you know, keeps tormenting, tormenting me and torturing me every single night, pulling out shit with the help of Baron Samity. I feel like it's a bunch of evil ass spirits, you know, fucking with. The entity attachments playing mind games with me and fucking with shit and working at the behest of these three evil ass people who put this curse on me. That's really essentially what the fuck is going on. You know, so with that being said, yeah, now that I think about it, there were some timelines that were set aside by Baron Samity, where I was supposed to be a television prevent, uh, presenter and do great things uh, materially, but in the entertainment industry, not really great, but just materially successful. And he totally blocked my path like um there was a song i used to hear on the radio from an american idol winner it was a light-skinned lady i believe her and i used to hear it played on the radio all the time not all the time but very very sporadically and so I was told that when I stopped hearing it completely and couldn't find it online, that was kind of like a Berenstein Bears uh, Mandela effect situation where I got placed in a timeline where I would be like this, stuck under heavy curses and never able to escape and homeless and, you know, stuck in homeless shelters and being put on the brink of debt. You know, because of curses, heavy curses coming from people that want my spiritual powers and abilities and having Baron Samity, Zeus and a couple of other evil entities allow them to be able to come in and um, astral, you know, energy harvest and astral body harvest off of me and be able to take whatever they want. So I was being set up to be a feast for these people, to be a sacrifice for these evil people. So anyways, in 2013, 2010, okay, before then, I was doing financially very, very well. Baron Samity and his highest self fucked up my consciousness, you know, um, to where I couldn't become spiritual. They did something where they took my spiritual abilities and made it external so that other people can grab it and I couldn't. I couldn't use it. So with that being said, Um, in 2010, when I moved to my new neighborhood, which I believe was situated on the ley line at the time, that's when I became spiritually cognizant. 
from what I understand, Baron Samity invited Alex Nascimento to come in. And this is after tormenting and fucking up my higher, the highest selves and throwing them out when they were trying to rescue me from his hell, you know, his hell realm curse. It, it's nothing like what I'm do- enduring right now, but it was bad. It's meant to keep you from becoming spiritually cognizant and getting spiritual help. Like on my 16th birthday, I had reptilians be placed in charge of my consciousness after I experienced soul loss, after the first person sacrificed me. Again, my timelines when I was in high school, going back to my freshman year, started out me with a shopping cart. So I knew my life would be hell even back then. I just instinctively and intuitively knew it. Um, I was made a sacrifice to her. And she was allowed to get a lot of my spiritual blessings and stuff, uh, uh, physical, material blessings. She, um, now I have something, I have, they're fucking with an entity attachment right now, making it fuck with my consciousness. Something crucial I was going to remember that's designed to keep me, um, This is what I'm talking about. They keep fucking with crucial aspects of your consciousness to fuck you up. You know, that's why I need that spirit guide. And they've been trying to estrange me from her ever since. You know, and I stay on it. You know, I I try to follow, you know, exactly what's going on and try to, you know, make sure she's not gone. But anyways... He wants he wanted to set the tone that I stay under curses from what I'm understanding. Um I'm trying to think of why I brought up high school. Um I think it's because um Alex Nascimento tried to make an appearance back then and he got shut it right out. So, anyways, in two thousand in 10, I moved to my new neighborhood where I started to become more spiritual because of the ley lines that surround me. It made me more spiritually conscious. With that being said, there were... Um, from what I understand... Going back then, I used to make YouTube videos. Oh, I had soul loss that I experienced due to the first curse by Baron Samity, where he uh, took a large piece of my soul. And I believe he did that to my grandfather, either him or Alex Nascimento, and them evil ass people um, out there in Malibu. Again, I believe it's Barbara and Joe Hips. Um, you know, some of the people I believe that did that. With that being said, they removed crucial aspects. Um, With that being said, Baron Samity, or his highest self, saw I would become spiritual. And they saw, supposedly, that, you know, a bunch of Hispanics lived in the area at the time. As well as a bunch of whites were going to see what was going on with me because I was, you know, pretty popular on YouTube. I did a lot of videos. Um, I did, the, you know, I did a lot of videos, you know, that were like pro prostitution. I did a lot of, you know, I would always get flagged down, you know, do a lot of uh, videos in which I would talk about my thoughts on spiritual, not spiritual topics, but social topics and so forth and so on. And, um, You know, I also did cop watching as well back then. So I was known for that. You know, I was kind of like an underground celebrity of sorts of Z-list. Especially given my, you know, Rock of Love days and Game Show Networks without prejudice the days. And there was something else I did too um, back in the day, but I can't recall it. 
But anyways, Baron Samity saw that people would see my potential and try to free me. So from what I understand, he bullied my ancestors into telling them I have to stay under curses for them to be free. And in 2013, this is when my consciousness and personality and everything started to change. I started to become deeper. He brought in Alex Nascimento to keep me under curses, from what I understand, from what I'm trying to get the gist of. And from there, now you're pulling out pieces and I have an entity attachment to Baron Samity pull out a piece of my consciousness. Like I say, it's something about what these people do. They connect their consciousness to yours so that they can throw roach attachments so that they can peel for off you all the way down to the soul consciousness so that they can peel for off you and take all of your shit. And that's exactly what's been happening. You know, every time I even think about something going on within me, you know, inside of me, especially pertaining to this, they start to go in and energy harvest off of it and fuck with it and tamper with it. So with that being said, I keep getting phone storage is almost full. So this is probably going to be a six-parter or five-parter. That being said, from what I'm understanding, my consciousness is being fucked with very sadistically by this, this evil-ass shit. It's like a fucking... Gain the evil ass shit that's gaining up on me, including that uh, evil motherfucker that chauffeured that woman in that timeline into my body. And I saw it. I saw it through my third eye. I saw everything. With that being said, um, like I said, I, I'm going to need a lot of fucking spiritual help. Um, so anyways, in 2013, he brought in Alex Nascimento. And I'll say this right now. I didn't like the energy of the place. I felt like there were bad spirits in it. I kept having dreams of a couple, a Jewish couple. I kept getting uh, one guy kept appearing to me in the astral plane as Gene Wilder. And then the woman also had like uh, blonde hair. It was a uh, very, I don't want to say frizzy, but a uh, Jewish curly. And, um, you know, I would see her her husband being forced to watch while tied up, you know, seeing his wife get raped by a bunch of Mexicans. And so the reason why I'm saying that is because within two months time, now mind you, I used to look like this. I had to start charging within a two month span of time, 200 for two hours. And I would get the cruddiest clients, but I became a lot more real and developed a greater connection. I don't want to say a greater connection, but I started to evolve, develop like a very deep down to earth. you know, real interaction with them, relationship. You know, I be I started to become more myself. And so at the time I saw that as a blessing, but I didn't see the fucking whirlpool that was coming. The tornado. I keep having something fuck with my consciousness to keep uh, me from remembering what I need to remember.
So with that being said, I'm trying to hold on to my consciousness as much as possible, the last remnants. Hearing the motherfuckers who put this shit on me. So, anyways, with this being said, with that being said, you know, I'm gonna say this. I saw some weird shit with Madonna attached to my soul consciousness and all sorts of evil shit, Zendaya in it. So, with that being said, from what I understand, Baron Samity brought him in. To fuck up my consciousness. And. Um, with that being said. I keep having my entity attachments. Move on their own volition. So with that being said, in 2013, he brought in Alex Nascimento to keep me under the curse. And to set up the path, from what I understand, to antagonize me, antagonize anybody who wants to help me, which is happening to this day. It's like they're acting as gatekeepers to block any sort of spiritual abetment whatsoever that I can get on the outside. And so with that being said... Um, Uh-uh. From what I understand, at one point, you know, I remember it was around 2012, 2011, really 2012, 2013, when I started going natural. I also got these tattoos in 2012 that had spiritual meaning to them. From what I understand, and I didn't, you know, pick it up or anything, you know, I, I wasn't supposed to get them because the minute I become spiritual, the minute I would start getting fucked up. But I, in a way, under his curse, which would sow me to prostitution, I already was fucked up. You know, it seems like looking at the spirit guides and higher selves that Zeus was going to set me under. Whereas from what I'm seeing now, with the path of Nascimento, Alex was designed to make me a lot more intelligent and bring me back to myself, but under a curse. It seems like if I was to go the way of the material, I would have to be a dunce and totally stupid like I was under his curse. I wasn't totally abjectly stupid. I still had a lot of my you know, previous consciousness there. But, you know, rendered, I'll just say this, on the right side, I, I had a bad feeling about it for quite some time. dead inside. What you see was under Alex. But anyways, it seems like I would have to trade intelligence and just spiritual, intellectual, deep insight, self-insight, and perspicacity for material goods. Because, you know, from what I understand, I would have been able to get my shit, you know, that's why I keep wondering if Alex Nascimento 
was said to be a curse. You know, it seemed like I became more spiritual when he appeared, but started going downhill, like materially, financially, I started having problems with money during that time and every fucking thing else. It, it just seems like some straight up demiurge type shit, you know, like, you know, you want to become spiritual, you got to pawn off material success. If you want to become material, you got to pawn off fucking being able to get deep knowledge and a deep understanding for spiritual things. That's why they keep telling me that, you know, in a sense, it makes sense. You know, if I want to get back into that original timeline in my body in that timeline, I would have to be shallow and materialistic. But anyways, during that time, I started to become more real and I started to, you know, know myself more. And it was around that time I started talking about deep spiritual topics and issues. Now, in 2014 and 2012, my brother, who could be seen with my future dad here, this is how he's going to end up in the hell run if he stays stuck. From what I understand, I'm just, I'm trying to get everything together because these things keep fucking with my consciousness rampantly while I try to do a video. I was so... I'm just going to say it like this. I was being kept under very, very heavy curses. Oh, 2014. Now, in 2014, uh The man I just fucking mentioned that it, it had like some physical effect in, in my consciousness in the astral plane as well, of which my consciousness is externalized. This is, I, I can't deal with this shit. With that being said, in 2014, was when I had the dream, and I think I talk about it here. Skeletal entity coming in and uh, being flanked by a German woman wearing a nurse's outfit with a very sneaky ass smile. And talking about taking me to hell realms. Now, mind you, regarding Alex Nascimento, I had an astral vision in which I saw a Mexican young lady who also, I guess, offended this Ingrid Hybert woman or whatever. It's a blonde woman who looks like this, or it could be these two web bags. I don't know. Crack is at the end. From what I understand, from what I recall, and I actually freed the woman later on. They held her in a hell realm where she was being forced to face obstacle courses going against entity attachments of people, including my grandmother. 
who, um, from what I understand, was placed in the hell realm, just like my brother and my grandfather by Alex Nascimento. Um, there was something else that I wanted to mention, too, and I totally, they, they made me fucking forget my own fucking head, my own consciousness. This is some evil shit. I have uh, this woman keeps fucking with my version of Hike, and I have her fucking with um, my child consciousness. And, you know, when you try to attack it, it's like you're attacking yourself. So it's hard to do that. You know, it's like they're trying to take away my self-empowerment. My ability to use my own power, you know, by turning my own, by using my entity attachments against me, by turning my own entity attachments against me. So, um... You know, they keep trying to set it up to where my entity attachments get taken over by Madonna and her highest self. And, you know, and, and fuck with my spirit guides consciousness so that I have to go through them and I can't work with her to be able to get shit and just to have my own inner shit work. You know, they keep fucking with my inner entity attachments and having them voiced or controlled by my, the Madonna's consciousness and all this shit. You know, like I say, these things like, a, you know, swap your soul consciousness out with another person without your fucking consent, do all sorts of sadistic ass evil shit. Like that lady was saying a while back, I should have never spoke to this evil ass shit. You know, I had her controlling the vital part of my consciousness, which just got removed. And they keep removing, you know, parts of my spirit guide, her consciousness, astral body parts. So I have to go through these motherfuckers who sacrifice me, you know, who commandeer control of different entity attachments in my consciousness. That's how evil this curse is for me to be able to just function. So that I stay under heavy curses as a sacrifice. They keep putting Mikey Hernandez, connecting him to me as well and, and fucking with that. And it's because I have no spiritual protection. I have no spirit guides, no connection to higher selves, no angelic protection, no demonic protection, really nothing. A lot of that got removed as part of this curse. So I'm going to try to do something today, you know. I forgot, I was going to say something very vital and they blocked it. 
said, um, this is what I wanted to talk about. Um, they put that poor girl through obstacle courses where they had this motherfucker, Alex Nasi Manto, and there's another one called, um, that shit, I keep having, uh, entity attachments of that, uh, Santa Worth, they shop owner, her highest self, um, Maria Santana pulling tug at me as well as, uh, couple of other entities the minute I'm about to, you know, mention something significant just to harass me and fuck with me. 